Hi there, this is Nelly Deutsch and I'm on a Moodle site. This Moodle site is very special because it offers users a chance to be managers of the whole site and practice the various features available on a Moodle site. So it's not just about creating courses, adding users, and managing the site in general. It's also about connecting with others from around the globe, mostly educators, but also IT people. So let's take a look at what we have today. And what we have today is language. Right now the language is set to English. There's only one option and that's English. I'm going to change that to offer the managers a chance to see what they can do with other languages in their courses and in general. As the admin, I just want to clarify that managers have less rights. They cannot add plugins and they cannot change the theme unless uh, they're allowed to do so. And of course, theme as a plugin. And also, they cannot customize languages. So I'm going to do that for them. So, this is how it's done as the admin. You go into the category of administration, language. And then notice language settings. Under language settings, you're going to scroll down until you get to language packs. We'll get to the customization afterwards. So we've got language packs. We click on that. Now there are so many languages that Moodle offers that it's unbelievable. Notice all these available languages. I'm sure that I know I don't know many of them. But maybe you do. And they're different kinds. So if we're going to Japanese, there are different kinds of Japanese. There's kids and there's workplace. There's Italian for the workplace. And in general, I have no idea how this works, but it does. And it's absolutely amazing that Moodle is able to deliver that. Notice English, which is more familiar to me anyways. There's pirate, <laughs> there's for kids, there's United States, there's US K-12, there's English for workplace in the United States, and English for workplace in general. There's, that's it. So there's no Canadian English, if another could be, or Australian or New Zealand and so on. So that's something that Moodle developers might want to consider. But these are all the languages available, and there are a lot. So what I'm going to do is this. I can uh, choose whatever language I want. Notice I will have to probably update this. And I can always uninstall if I've installed languages and I'm not happy with them, or I don't need them. Right now there's only English, as you can see. So I can go through each one and just add them. Or I can install all the languages, which is what I'm going to do so that the managers can see what it looks like and then they can maybe decide together what they'd like me to do. So right now they're curious, which is very, very important, if not the most important thing in our lives. So I've clicked on Install Selected. Oops, notice I've selected and I shouldn't have only those. Um, so let me just go through everything so that I can select whatever is here. So Install Selected. So I get all the possible languages, unless there are more. I'll have to update to see if there are any more, and I'll show you how that's done in a minute. So it's installing the selected languages. Have you heard of Woloof? Woo! I can't read some of these. I think I've updated all installed language packs. See, all language packs are up to date. No update is needed. So I'm good to go. So what can you do as the manager? Well, that's for you to explore. Instead of, um, let's go into the site administration. You're going to go in as a manager, of course. So under site administration, you're going to scroll down until you get to language and see what you can do here. I believe you have one of these, not all three. If you asked about the differences between being a manager and an admin, you can see what I can see here under Site Administration. You notice I've got a lot more information, but not always that much more. I think under Mobile Apps, I'm not sure if there's anything there for you at all. 
So um, under users, notice you can't make anyone an administrator. That's something you can't do. And um, under courses, I think you can do just about anything that I can do as the admin. Under grades, you could probably also do anything. Plugins, of course, you can't install and you can't even overview them. As far as the appearance goes, as I said before, you can't add anything to change the appearance. You cannot change the themes. So you have nothing here under appearance. Well, nothing that's relevant. Server, you have nothing in network. You only have a little bit under plugins. Of course, you've got reports. Not as much and nothing under development. And that's it. Hope this has been of help. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.